The idea of Castle Rock from the beginning was that we were going to tell a story across many seasons and that each season was going to be a new set of characters as our way in, but that eventually they would all kind of weave together in the vein of the way that Stephen writes his books. In season two, we were really excited about the idea of telling an origin story for one of Stephen King's most iconic villains, Annie Wilkes. You don't know a cock -a duty thing about us. Stephen King's book and the film based on the book, that is one story. Our story is very much its own thing. To see Lizzie sort of inhabiting her in such an effective way, it's pretty amazing. If you're going to do Annie Wilkes, she has to have a powerful foil. And Ace is really, in the books, the most reviled and darkest part of Castle Rock. You know my nephew, Ace. Tim Robbins and I were both a little bit giddy about the fact that it's pretty cool to like be around these characters through the fabric of his world. I just love him as a writer and I've loved him as long as I've read books. I think he's one of the greatest modern writers and it was really fun to bring out all the just really Stephen Kingy parts of the season and it's very different from anything else I've ever done. Did you do something, Mom? I love being in the different world that I'm usually in as an actor. You have to go into a dark place, but as I've gotten older, I've learned how to go to a dark place very briefly, rather than let it consume me. Tell me where you put the fucking body. Working with Tim is amazing, and it's always a really beautiful and wonderful thing to work with actors that are generous and intelligent and know their craft. It's very satisfying. The fact that they got Sissy Spacek in the first season, such an iconic Stephen King presence, and then to get Tim Robbins. I don't know who they get for the third season because they blew their load early. You know, one of the things that we came into this with was the idea that you would never exactly know which direction the story was going to take, just like the thrill of a Stephen King story. <gasps> Throughout the course of the 10 episodes, I feel you see a real journey in the end, we'll see how it turns out. I'm warning you, something bad is coming.